Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you about five ways to deal with motion sickness in the car. If you commonly and frequently get motion sickness while you're in a car, whether you're driving or whether you're not driving, these things will help you. Now these are geared towards being a passenger in a car because a lot of them you, can, you can't really do them when you're driving, but you can apply some of them to if you are driving, but most of them deal with being a passenger. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first way to deal with motion sickness in the car is to get fresh air. Roll down the windows a little bit or a lot and get fresh air. That fresh air is going to give your body the sensation that it's searching for. Your body is looking for some normalcy in the way that it feels. It's feeling motion sickness, it's feeling all weird and quirky, but your body is actually searching for something to help it feel normal. That burst of fresh air that you're breathing in, take those nice deep breaths, that is going to give your body exactly what it's searching for, which is a normal feeling. It's going to help fill your lungs with that nice fresh oxygen and with that being said it's going to give your body what it's looking for to help reduce that motion sickness. Now it should be said that you should try to do as many of these in conjunction with each other as possible because it'll give you the best chance at actually getting rid of that motion sickness and dealing with it in the meantime. All right, the second thing that you can do is chew gum. What happens is when you're chewing gum, your brain is actually subconsciously sending signals to your mouth, your jaw, and your teeth to continue chewing. So it's telling your mouth to chew, chew, chew. Now you're not like mentally saying chew, 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 chew. It's just actually naturally chewing. When you're chewing gum, your brain is just almost doing it automatically, automagically I should say. So with that being said, it's going to actually take up a part of your brain. That motion of chewing the gum is going to occupy some brain power and brain capacity which is going to take it away from thinking about the motion sickness and thinking about the feeling of, of being motion sick. Because your brain is going to be telling your mouth to chew, it's not going to be as focused on the motion sickness. Plus just the actual chewing motion will help with your ears popping and so forth. It'll just help with your motion sickness physically. Alright, moving forward, the third thing that you should do is close your eyes or focus on something inside of the car. Motion sickness partially occurs when you see what's happening outside of the car. So if you take your focus out of the outside of the car and bring it to the inside of the car, or if you are closing your eyes or maybe wearing a blindfold of some sort, then guess what? It's going to help with your motion sickness. So if you sort of combine all of these things, let's say you roll down the windows, you chew some gum, and you just, you know, you're staring at the seat in front of you in the inside of the car, you're going to really stand a good chance at getting rid of the motion sickness and positively dealing with the motion sickness. The fourth thing that you should do is eat some crackers. Now sometimes motion sickness occurs when you have a lot of acidic liquids in your stomach. So you have all of this acid, this acidic liquid in your stomach that's sort of swooshing around that's leading you to feel like maybe you might vomit or maybe you're feeling sick. What you should do is eat some crackers or anything else that would absorb that acidic liquid. Let's say maybe you have some crackers, let's say maybe you have a sandwich because you have some bread with the sandwich. Sometimes ice cream can help with that. It all depends on your body but I would say stick to crackers and bread if you can, if you want to absorb that acidic liquid in your stomach. Last but not least, the fifth thing that you should do is sit in the front seat. Now what happens is in the front seat you actually feel the least amount of motion in the majority of cars and the majority of car rides that you'll be going on. Now motion sickness occurs because you feel more motion than your body expects. So what's happening is you're feeling this amount of motion but your body is only expecting this amount of motion. There's like a discrepancy between what you're feeling and what you expect and maybe even what you um, are looking at outside. Maybe you're looking at a little bit of motion but your body is feeling more motion. That causes is motion sickness. So if you sit in the front seat, you're going to get the least amount of motion most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time, which should help you reduce your motion sickness or hopefully get rid of it entirely. And that's basically it. Try to do all five of these together to give yourself the best chance at really getting rid of that motion sickness in the car as quickly as you possibly can. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.